Hello. In this video, I will show you how to extract the advanced timing from an ignition box. We we'll use this uh, TCI and with the help of the, the CDI or TCI tester, this one, I will display how much advanced there is per RPM. So, first off, we'll look at how everything is uh, connected. The TCI is powered on by this battery. The TCI coil is uh, connected to this battery too. Here's a digital generator that puts out uh, pickup signals that looks like a real one. You can see that the first pulse it looks like a sinus with the first pulse negative, then the second one positive. This uh, pickup signal on channel one goes both to the tester and to the TCI. So, we'll power it out, power it on. Okay, it's now waiting for a pickup signal to be, uh, to be detected on this input. So, I now turn on the pickup. The pickup has been de detected as NPN, meaning N uh, for negative first and P for positive second. The um, rotation per minute is uh, 300, and the del for delay is the time between the pickup pulse and the spark. So, giving that uh, the pickup is uh, set up at 50 degree PTDC, so um, 27 milliseconds means uh, uh, an advance of zero degree, which is exactly what is what has been set up in the in the box. So I'm going to increase the, um, the RPM. Let's go to 10, 10 Hz, 600 RPM, and now the addons is 5.4 degrees. Go to 20, at 1200. Uh, advance is uh, 9 degree. Thirty degree. And so on. At 5000, the advance is 38. At 7,000, the advance is uh, lowering on, uh, to uh, 33 degrees of BTDC. So on and so forth. So, yes, and uh, if the TCI reaches is a limit with a RPM limiter, Here we are. There is no more spark. Sparks. The last display that uh, is um, is freeze. The display is freeze on, on the last uh, measurement. 
And so we can hear that there is no more uh, spot because the limiter is on. Okay, thanks uh, for watching. Bye. Bye for now.